Hello, this is Alexia again. Today we're going to explore how we can help our students add mixed numbers. Let's begin at slide D. For this slide, we are encouraging students to solve this problem any way they choose. They can also use the link below to access some tools like fraction strips and number lines. If you're conducting this lesson live, you can have students make connections with other students by using a collaborative board through Nearpod. You can refer to an earlier video to see how that's done. If not, you can have a live discussion. If you're assigning this during asynchronous time, then you may want to move ahead to the next slide, so slide E, so that students can see another example and compare their answer to this one and see how their answers are similar or different. Okay, so now let's go back to slide D. So here we have a mixed number and another mixed number, and we have to add this up. So students might give you an array of answers. Some students might add up the whole numbers first, so they might add 5 and 6 and get 11. And then they'll add up those fractions, so 5 eighths plus 5 eighths gives us 10 eighths, and they might just leave it like that, which is fine. Other students might be thinking, well, how about if I break up this second fraction into 3 eighths and 2 eighths? So if I add that 3 eighths to the 5 eighths, it'll give me now a new whole. So now I'll get 6, and I still have the 6 and the 2 eighths. So if I add that up, I'm going to get 12 and 2 eighths. Then you might have another student who maybe wasn't so sure, and then now, based off of the two answers we just got, might see something here and might say, well, I know that 10 eighths is an improper fraction or fraction greater than 1, so if I decompose that into um, 8 eighths and 2 eighths, I know that this will give me a whole. So now I know I have 12, and I still have the 2 eighths left over. So they might show you a bunch of different ways to get this answer. And that's great because it'll lead us into our next slide where we're looking for a bunch of different ways that students can solve problems. So here we are on slide G. This problem is much more open-ended. Student answers will vary. And for this problem, students have to find two mixed numbers that when added together will give you a sum of 21 and 4 twelfths. Students have to kind of think backwards for this problem. Um, and this question is great because it allows for multiple entry points. This will give all students the ability to answer at their own comfort level. So some students might just break apart that 21 and 4 twelfths into 20 and 2 twelfths plus 1 and 2 twelfths. So they're just breaking apart that 21 into two numbers that they feel comfortable with and then breaking apart that 4 twelfths into two fractions. Again, both numbers that we're adding up have to be mixed numbers. So we don't want students to say 21 um, plus 4 twelfths. Another student might just randomly pick a number that's smaller than this mixed number and might come up with, for example, 18 and 6 twelfths. They might use counting up to figure out how much more they have to add to get to 21 4 twelfths. So they'll get 2 and 10 twelfths. And then you might have others that might say something like 11 and a half plus 9 and 5 sixths. So they're using equivalent fractions here um, to add up to 21 and 4 twelfths. So you can also change this mixed number, the 21 and 4 twelfths, from the slide to a mixed number you feel is more appropriate for your population. So you might want to make it a little bit more accessible um, for your students, or you might want to make it more challenging. And problems like this will help students think more critically than just following a process and make them, more, make them have more of a connection with the numbers. Again, if you're conducting this lesson live, you might want to use a collaborative board where students can connect with other students and share their answers. There might be a student who's not so sure, and once they see a few examples pop up on the collaborative board, it might inspire them to try or to come up with a few numbers that would work. Okay, moving on. Here is a sample for students who might be working during asynchronous time to refer to. So we have slides, slides H and I. So slide H came up with a mixed number, 4 and 7 twelfths. And you'll notice that they are kind of friendly numbers here, right? The whole numbers, 4 and 16, give us that 20. And then we're still missing that 1 and 4 twelfths. 
So again, probably thinking backwards here, okay, it means 16 twelfths more, and they broke it apart into 7 twelfths and 9 twelfths. And then the last example here is um, where they decompose 21 to 10 and 11, and then 4 twelfths into 1 twelfth and 3 twelfths. So again, um, allowing students to see these sample answers can also help them come up with mixed numbers that could work. All right, so that brings us to the end of today's segment. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to help your students add mixed numbers. See you next time.